All right, folks, Rocket Labs results out last night, and let's just say the crowd went wild. Uh, bears across the board, uh, you know, uh, uh, we saw, you know, once again, couldn't, couldn't keep up. Solid guidance. They beat the street everywhere. Uh, and, of course, the stock opened up the, the session much higher. I want to bring in now Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck. And first and foremost, Peter, congratulations. Hey, uh, let me ask, <laughs> Thanks, you know, what, what stands out most to you from, uh, with respect to the last three months? Yeah, look, really, just just the growth in the in the, in the company, and you know, all of the business units and Electron, our small launch vehicle, just continued to hit uh, hit you know larger and larger strides and and goals. So, just really solid growth growth throughout the business across it. Let's let's talk about the business stack. Then start with Electron, go back there. Uh, your backlog is building. The success is there. Uh, you know, what are you anticipating for next year? Yeah, look, I mean, Electron, as you, as you point out, is is the second most frequently launched US vehicle um, right now. And, you know, in one quarter, we booked 17 launches alone. So um, it's a really strong growth in the backlog. And, uh, yeah, look, this year we, we're on track to have the biggest launch year ever and, and uh, next year shaping up to be even bigger. So, no, it's super exciting. What is, uh, tell us about Photon. Yeah, so we've got uh, got a couple of uh, really interesting uh, missions happening. So uh, a couple of spacecraft that are sitting on uh, a Blue Origin vehicle right now that we built that are, are getting ready to launch here in the next couple of days to go to Mars. And the cool thing about that mission is it's, you know, typically when you talk about going to Mars, you think of billions of dollars in decades. Well, this was tens of millions of dollars in a few years, two spacecraft were built, and they're on their way to Mars uh, here shortly. Yeah, Elon last night talking about uh, robots going to Mars too. You talked to Elon yet? <laughs> I'll, let, I'll, Elon, I'll let Elon take his robots to Mars. I've got, I've got bigger jobs to focus on myself. <laughs> well, let's talk about Haste then. That's another project everyone's excited about. Yeah. Yeah, so Haste is a hypersonic suborbital variant of the Electron vehicle. And, um, you know, the U.S. has really struggled to, to have, uh, you know, make great advancements in hypersonics, um, uh, in, in part due to the availability of, of uh, affordable test platforms. So by taking our Electron, we're able to uh, put, a, put all these hypersonic experiments on the nose of it and really accelerate that testing. And, you know, we're seeing a lot of growth in that market, and it's just been tremendous for our customers uh, to develop the technology as well. Yeah, the hypersonic issue has uh, been something we've been sort of worried about here, uh, uh, particularly uh, with, with, the, uh, with Russia. And, and now they have, you know, unfortunately with this war, uh, they've been able to uh, to experiment even more in real time, and some of them we have to catch up on. But let's talk about what everyone wants to talk about. So I had an analyst yesterday. Uh, he loves your stock. He said maybe uh, Neutron would be pushed out, but th he says this is it. Talk to the folks watching at home why this is the game changer. Mm. Yeah, well, Neutron's important for us for a couple of reasons. Um, one, you know, it's, it's really a, a, a breaking of the mould of, of a kind of a pseudo-monopoly um, for the Falcon 9 vehicle that, that's in the market right now. So there isn't really uh, anything that's competing to, you know, competitive to, to that vehicle. So that offers um, all of our government and commercial customers, a, a, you know, a different, a different avenue to get to orbit. So that's important. But equally well, it, it also provides us as a company, um, multi-ton lift capability for our own stuff. So, you know, we've made no, no secret of the fact that eventually, um, you know, our intention here is to, to deploy our own constellations. So, you know, having a multi-ton capability, high cadence launch vehicle to do that is going to be a game changer for us, for sure. There was some anticipation that the, uh, that the, the launch would be moved from fourth quarter this year to first quarter next year. How, how comfortable are you with saying that that's certainly going to happen? Well, look, I could caveat everything with it's a rocket program, right? And I think, you know, one of the reasons why we shifted that a little bit is, you know, we have a method for developing this stuff. And, you know, that method is, has proven to be extremely good and reliable. And if we think about it, like the reality is in the world today, there's been two commercial companies that have bought a launch vehicle to market, made it reliable and scaled into any kind of cadence. And that's SpaceX and Rocket Lab. And we're just not going to deviate from our, from our path that, that has really proven to develop, you know, technology reliably. And, you know, look, nobody remembers, uh, a, a, you know, a rocket that took a little bit longer to right. get to the launch pad and then launch successfully. Everybody remembers a rocket that blows up the launch pad. Yeah, so yeah. we're just not interested in being in that later camp. I got you. No, you, you point that out uh, very often, even on your website. Before I let you go, you know, we're trying to just think it just where all of this goes. I mean, is it even is can you even quantify the total addressable market for this? Is it it just feels like there's so many opportunities for you? 
Look, there the, the, the really is. Um, you know, the opportunities in space right now are just are just massive, as you point out. And and really, you know, if you, if I had to sit down and, and you know at a couch with a glass of wine, it's really AI and space are the two big opportunities for humanity as we step forward. I know, Peter. Congratulations, man. You were ahead of the curve. Uh, you've done extraordinarily well. You could have owned this stock uh, about a, a little more than a year ago for five dollars and fifty cents. Uh, so, uh, congratulations. People love you, and you're delivering. Great to have you on.